Oh, well, hello. Welcome back to a remake of a remake because of some pretty important changes to the game as well as some nerf to certain guns, which I'll explain once I get to it. Some gadgets as well have been changed, the secondary gadgets, which I will explain when I get to those, but anyway. Something new that's been added to the game is drone after prep, meaning you'll be able to stay on your drone. It won't get kicked out during the prep phase. I recommend setting this to semi-automatic. If you do want to like hide your drone somewhere, you can just press circle the back out of your drone and you'll you'll automatically come out of the drone. Otherwise, you'll stay droning, so you'll you won't lose your drone in the drone after you can keep droning after prep. So this is helpful if you play someone like Twitch. So if you want to go around and shoot stuff, and I'll also explain Twitch got a buff, Lation got a nerf. Semi semi nerfed for for Twitch as well, but I'll explain when I get to her. These are my personal settings for controls. You don't have to use these, it's just preferential for you what you want to use. I recommend not having your ADS up too high because it'll make it easier to control vertical recoil. But I had mine at 50 previously, I upped it a little bit to 60 just to, so I have faster clearing rooms a little bit. If you're not understanding what dead zone is, how can I explain this? Um, say you're having stick drift where the stick moves on its own without you touching it. So you're aiming down sights, holding an angle, and then all of a sudden your stick, like your aim moves a little bit on its own. That's when you want to adjust your stick drift for your right stick. Uh, put it up like a little bit at a time. You may need to do terrace hunt to test to see if it fixes it, you know. Or you can do it in the middle of a match, but just be careful of course, obviously. But that's what, st that's what your dead zone is for. It's so how hard you have to press on the stick till the game recognizes that you've moved the stick before it takes an action. So that's how you counteract your stick drift until of course you can get the money to buy a new controller, right? Um, recommend having aim assist off so when you're doing the terrorist hunts, if you're doing your training. Oh, speaking of which, terrorist hunt is now called training grounds. Uh, so. If you're doing training grounds, you'll want to have aim assist disabled, that way it's more realistic. Um, for video, turn VSync off, because that lowers your frame rates when you're doing training grounds. But yeah, aim assist is disabled, you have that disabled, that way you're, because you don't have aim assist in PvP, so that it's going to throw you off when you're actually doing your training. <laughs> Sorry, my voice cracked a little bit there. Anyway, uh, that's all I had to show you for, uh, for my options. Uh, okay, all shotguns, every single shotgun in the game I have has a reflex on it regardless of whether it's attack or defense. All pistols, except for, except for IQ, I have the muzzle brake on. For her, I have the uh, silencer on it, but it's because of her ability. SMG 11, I use the flash hider. For most of my operators, I have Reflex on for attackers and Hollow Sight on for defenders. Of course, shotguns being the only exception, just because I use Reflex for all shotguns no matter what. The LED5, I have the Compensator on. And I, I use Vertical for all of my weapons. You can use angled if you prefer, but I prefer the vertical for help with the recoil control because when I'm, f I'm, I usually aim down sights and I clear a room by looking around the corners but as I'm going into the room. So I don't really need the angled grip for aiming down sights faster, which is what it does. So I prefer vertical grip for all my weapons. The only one I have angled is for Frost because that's all she has available. And that's another thing for Frost, which I'll explain later as well. Um, she got a new sight, which I'll explain. Uh, frags for sledge, obviously. For the AR-33, I also have the compensator. Um, I actually prefer the LED-5 just because I'm used to it. It's preferential whether you want to use the AR-33 or the LED-5. I just prefer the LED-5 just because I'm used to using it because if I switch to sledge, it's like, oh, I already know how to use that gun, so it's super easy for me. I use breaches on Thatcher because I found they come in handy more often than the, than the Claymore does. Uh, just because how I play them. 
Okay, for, for Ash, I actually started using the G36E because the recoil pattern is actually a lot better on the G36E. I'm not sure if I got a buff recently because Ayana has it, but the G, I find the G36E better because of the ACOG and because the recoil is so low. As you can see from the bottom right corner, I have the compensator on it. But yeah, as you can see from the bottom right corner, if you see how, like, how do I explain it? Like, compare the muzzle brake to the compensator, you can see how it kind of veers off more to the right. When you're picking out an attachment, if you're not sure which one you want to use, if you don't like my recommendation, look at the bottom right corner where it says recoil pattern. Look how close the colors are. If they're further apart, that means that's a bullet's gonna, like, it's gonna be further apart. There's gonna be, like, it's gonna jump up more. That's how you can figure out which one you probably want to use. And also, you have to look at the curvature as well, because sometimes it'll veer off to the right or to the left with the L85. And the different colors represent one bullet. So green is one, yellow is your second one, orange is your third, and red is your fourth bullet. And that's how you're basically how recoil works in the game. P pistol is, pre is all pre preference. I, I can't really decide bef between the M45 and the 5.7. I started using the 5.7 just because the, uh, I like it better. Recoil wise and because of the extra bullets it has, even if it's the weaker gun. If you've got a really good trigger figure, it's actually a very good pistol. And again, gadget is preferential. I've been using stuns because I'm trying to use them more because I don't use them very much. For the 5.56, I've got the compensator. The flash also is a viable option, but I just prefer the compensator for it. And I use the 5.7. I have the claymore on thermite because it can be really handy if you're trying to breach and people are running out and certain like, for example, on consulate, sometimes people run up from yellow stairs, so you want to put that at yellow stairs while you're breaching the garage door. That way you don't get runouts from there. For Twitch, the F2 recently got nerfed again. So as if you, I don't know if you watched my previous video, but the recoil is a lot higher. So. I was actually, I actually recommended the compensator, but if you've watched my previous video, you do notice how much higher the recoil is on it. So you can either try the compensator or switch to the muzzle brake once again, which I, not my previous video, but the video before that, I recommended the muzzle brake. So I am now using the muzzle brake once again. Another option to help with recoil with the F2 is to use a hollow sight or a reflex I found. The ACOG I found has a bit of a bounce to it, so you might be better off going without an ACOG if you're having trouble controlling the recoil on it. But I've gotten used to it. Another thing you can do is tap firing, like you tap once or t like once to fire a little bit, then let go and tap again. That way the re recoil is reset as you're firing rather than just automatically firing. That's gonna cause the recoil to go up if you can't control it very well. The any marksman rifle in the game, the game, for like Twitch, the Force MT. I have of course the muzzle brake on it. The compensator was removed, I believe, because it doesn't apply to it all. It's basically removed from all of the muzzle from the all of the DMRs or marksman rifle if you prefer. I use the P9. The LFP is really good, it's just lack of uh, ammo and it's very slow re reload, so I prefer the pistol. And again, with Thatcher, I'm using breaches instead of uh, instead of Claymore for Twitch. For Montang, I'm using the P9. And with any shield offer except for Clash, if you well, I should, I should explain. If you're using Montang or Blitz, it's okay to have a laser sight on your gun because they mostly rely on hit firing you're probably not going to be aiming down sights very much and even if you are they're going to hear you coming anyway so it doesn't matter but for any gun i would not recommend using a laser sight because it gives away your location they can see the laser and they can figure out where you're you're sitting like where you're at aiming from they'll be able to figure out your location so using a laser sight is not recommended unless maybe you want to use it on your shotgun because you're going to be close quarters combat with the shotgun anyway so that's up to you it doesn't really help hip fire much all, all that much. Even having the laser on it, hip fire is still... How do I explain? Um, 
it's like a bit, it's, I don't know if it's, it's an RNG, but hit fire is still very unreliable, especially with pistols, so. You might, you can put the laser on to help, but I still don't think it makes a difference, really. The point of the laser, I think, is for, like, for pistols, is you can, like, aim the laser at someone's face, and then you have to aim down sights and shoot to help you aim your shot easier with the laser, but other than that, it doesn't seem to help hit fire at all. I use smokes on Monty because I play bomb a lot, and having a smoke is very helpful for a shield to plant. What you'd want to do is throw a smoke in nearby a window or against a wall, crouch down to plant obviously, have your back facing away from the wall so that if they do shoot into the smoke they will hit your shield instead of hitting you and it will protect you while you're planting. Glass, I actually played the situations again recently and I kind of like the suppressor on him actually so you can do suppressor or muzzle break I actually really like the suppressor on him his recoil isn't that bad with the suppressor if you do aim and get the headshot and I'm gonna do the same actually for his uh, pistol just because I've liked it in the situations it was actually pretty cool and you can do either smokes or frags I'd recommend frags, honestly, because they're more useful than smokes, to be honest, especially if you're pushing. It's better off to have those frags for someone who's, like, hiding some behind something you can throw it at them. Uh, for Fuse, uh, the only thing he has for the 6P41 is the Flash, so I use that, obviously. And I actually start. I used to use the AK-12, which is still a very good assault rifle, but... I started using the light machine gun instead because I, I've just gotten really good with it, so I use that instead. Do not recommend using shield on fuse ever, because it's just bad. Uh, the AK-12, I use the compensator. And of course I use the PMM, I just find that to be the better pistol, I use it for all my Russian operators. Smokes are pretty much useless for fuse, so I don't. I just use reach charges on him. Blitz, I use smokes, and I had pretty much the same thing I said before with Montang, so... I forgot I had research with him. I was messing with my loadout, so yeah, I usually use smokes for him because it's the same idea for Montang. For the AUG, I have the Compensator. The Commando, I use the Compensator as well. For the GA8A1, I use the Compensator. The Compensator is a really, a really all-round... A uh, muzzle break for most operators, to be honest, for most of the guns. Um, oh yeah, as I was saying earlier, actually, I have a suppressor on IQ just because of her ability. So when you're gonna be wanting, you're gonna be like, you can do vertical play or even below. I don't know if I, I guess that counts as a vertical as well. You can go above sight and below sight. If the floor, if the floor is made out of wood or the ceiling is made out of wood. You can b go above or below objective and actually break gadgets through the floor and ceiling. You might have a little trouble because of the metal... Uh, I don't know what they're called. Like, it's not studs, but there's like reinforcements in the floor. I don't know how to explain it. Like, to, uh, I don't know how to explain it. I'm not a carpenter, but there's like metal beams in the floor and the ceiling. So you might have a little trouble getting them, but if you just shift a little bit, you can still hit the gadgets normally and destroy them. Which is part of why I have her pistol, so if you got roamers nearby, they're not hearing you shooting stuff. It makes it a lot easier to use her ability without being detected so easily. And I, again, I use breaches instead of a claymore. Because I, I frag with most of the operators like Thatcher and t Twitch. I'm usually going inside the building, so I don't really need the claymore for them. So I use breaches. That's usually how I decide whether I should bring like claymore or like stun grenades or breaches on the operators. I'm, if I... How do I play that operator? Am I staying outside most of the time and shooting from outside, or am I going into the building? That'll help me decide whether I should bring breaches or a claymore, because claymore is you, you, you'd probably use it to stop a run out from a window, so. Which is why I have the breaches on them instead. For the CAW, I think this has one of the hardest guns to control recoil, so you're going to either want the compensator or the muzzle brake, depending on which more comfortable with. Because it has some of the high, hardest recoil to control in the game, from what I can, from from my personal experience. Uh, and I use frags on Buck, of course, popular choice. Blackbeard, I compensator on the Mark 17. 
I don't play Blockford very much, but... He's actually better without his shield, to be honest. He's a lot slower with the shield on, so... Only put the shield on when you're about to go into a fight. When you're just, like, walking into the building, unless you think you're gonna run into somebody, don't put the shield on right away. Or you're gonna have to pull out your, your secondary, your deagle. Because pulling out your secondary makes you move faster. This also applies to Callie. She actually has a 20% speed reduction when she's carrying her rifle, so you're gonna want to use your secondary to move quicker. Uh, breach charges on him, but I, I'm not sure for Blackbeard. I, I either use breaches or stuns. I, can, I don't really have a preference for him since I don't play him that much. Uh, for the para, I have the compensator. I believe I have the comp on the. Yeah, I have the compensator on the M249 as well. And I actually use stun grenades because I feel like a claymore isn't really important for him since he's got like he's got this the fire bolts anyway so they almost act as a claymore of course they're like limited time but I just feel you know pushing is more important with him he's already got a trap sort of device to stop you from entering the room if you plant it or if you're trying to stop them from getting into the, the biohazard container you know uh, this is another one where it's like preferential choice I like the muzzle break because of the really low recoil as you can see in the bottom right corner very very close to their together it's really low recoil which is really really nice or my friend actually said he prefers the muzzle break a little or the flash header sorry not the muzzle break he said he prefers the flash header which you can see is not that bad either it's also a good choice it's preference would you rather you would you rather have the muzzle or the flash which is ever more comfortable for you uh i actually for the supernova this is one of the few exceptions i actually use the suppressor on the supernova just because I, I feel like it's better for the shotgun I've had more success with it being suppressed than non suppressed was it I don't know why but only one usually I only use it when I use a martyr I don't you do not use it on uh, Nibbana ever for the bearing nine I use the flash hider And I use breaches on Hibana because sometimes I don't want to waste my Kairos on a soft wall. I'd rather save them for a reinforced wall, so having the utility is good with her. Especially if you want to do vertical play, you'd rather it's better to have those breach charges rather than the, the pellets. And the pellets they've recently been really broken in the game where they're not breaking the reinforced walls properly, so having a little backup is a good idea. A good way is to have a Maverick with you to help you in case the, the game does bug out and your pellets don't break the reinforced wall correctly or you make, you know, you misplace your pellets and you have like a little bit of a line in between the two holes. Usually you can still crouch through most of the holes, but it's handy to have a Maverick to back you up to make the holes properly to, if you're able to get through, just in case. Uh, for Jackal, I have the comp, I believe, on both of his guns. Yeah, I have a comp on both of his guns. Uh, the C7E is actually the better of the two guns because of the higher damage rate, but you can go with the PDW for the better recoil control. It's just see how it's slightly better. It doesn't go as off to the right as much. It's just the damage is lower, and it, but it does, it does have a draw mag, so if you want to use that, you can. But the C7E is the better gun, though. I'm just, like, for me at least, I like it better. And then a couple patches ago, he lost his breach charges and got a claymore. If you're just coming back to the game now and you're not, you didn't realize that. So yeah, he lost his breach charges and got a claymore instead. <sighs> okay. Uh, for Ying, I believe compensator as well. <laughs> um, I use breaches for her just because her ability is it's helpful to hot breach with her because you can place your your candelas down like you would a fuse charge and then set off the breach charge as well so that's handy flash them as you're going the room Zofia I have I believe the comp yeah I have the compensator on her LMGE and I have the muzzle brake on her M762 but this is another one where it's like preferential to you. You can do muzzle break if you want, or you can do flash. As you can see, it's very much the same recoil as Hibana's gun, the Type 89. It's very similar, so your preference for you, which one you want to use. I just prefer the muzzle break. 
And you can go either Claymore or Britches with her because she has her lifeline, which uh, which is pretty much like a reach charge at a distance. So she's like Ash, but I mean, it's to me it depends on the map I'm going to be using her on. So I might bring Claymore. I might bring Claymore. I might bring reach charge. For Dokubi, for her load, I recommend using the Mark 14 and the C75 Auto. The boss chi is only two shots, unless you're really accurate with it, with it, even with the ACOG, it's not a very good gun at all. I wouldn't recommend using it. SMG, look at the recoil pattern in the bottom right corner. That says enough, honestly. Look at that random recoil pattern. It's really not a good gun to use, unless you can, unless you burst fire it, like I was saying with Twitch, you tap fire it, then it's not a very good gun to use. I don't recommend it at all. So I use the Z75 Auto with her. And another change with the uh, Season 5 Year 1 1.0 patch. They took away Dokubi's frags and she now has stun grenades. Um, for Lion, I have the Compensator on the V308s. And again, I use the French pistol with him. Actually, I'm trying to use stuns with him as well. Just trying to use them a bit more with any operator who pretty much has him rather than the Claymore. Uh, I also started using the 6P41 with with uh, Finca, but her spear did, a get, did get a damage boost. I got the compensator on that. It got a small damage boost to try and increase its use rate. Uh, if you're not aware, the sausage the SAS G12 and the FO12 also they both got a nerf so the recoil is a lot higher on them but they're still usable at close range not that bad you just can't spam them like crazy like you used to be able to that's all and you can either have frags or breaches it depends on your choice per your personal preference another change um, about secondary gadgets he lost his stuns and he gained frags so basically he traded with Dokubi I don't know why they gave Ma Maverick frags. At one point, Ying had frags as well, but they took them back from her, so she doesn't have frags anymore. I'm guessing it was seen as too overpowered for Ying. Uh, Mav is never another one of those operators where it's preferential. You can do flash or muzzle if you prefer. I prefer muzzle for him. Just because of the low recoil, since you're going to be shooting into a tiny hole, usually you want to have that low recoil so you make sure you hit the person you're trying to shoot through that small hole. Uh, Nomad. Both of her guns I have compensator for. As you can see, the recoil patterns are almost identical. So it's preferential on whether you want the higher, higher ammo capacity or not. I actually started using the ARX just because I wanted to try it, and I actually don't mind it. It's not that bad. I was thinking about whether I would put a laser on the 44 mag or not, just because the recoil is so bad on it. But I'm not even sure if I should or not. So it uh, that would be an option if you preferred for the 44 mag because it's so hard to use. You can put a laser on that. There's only a few special cases where you could. You would be it would be okay to use a laser, but I recommend don't use one just because it'll give away your location. Compensator for the F90, compensator for the saw, and then I use the pistol over the shotgun just because the shotgun isn't very good at breaching very well. Because it's only like a three shot, so it can take a long ass time to reach through something properly. So I prefer the pistol on her and just use breaches instead of smokes. Well, oh, a good play with her to do is with smokes. Like, put your tracks down, throw a smoke on it. So if they're trying to run back through objective, they'll run through the smoke and they'll run straight over into the tracks because they can't see them through the smoke. And that's actually a really dirty play with with gridlock. So if you want to do that, you can do that as well. Uh, for, for Nook, I actually use a suppressor on the FMG9, but if you're not going to use suppressor, you can use flash. Or muzzle brake. It's, prefer it's preference, really, for the FMG9, because the recoil, as you can see, 
It's very spread out. The bullets are very spread out. But I actually am not too bad with the suppressor on this gun. Because I've adjusted my ADS time. But I'm actually not too bad with the gun. I can I can handle the real coil pretty well. So I use the suppressor on that. And I've tried to use the suppressor on the deagle. But I found the recoil too high. So I actually... I'm going to put the muzzle brake back on the deagle. Because I'm used to using it like that with Valkyrie. So... So also I could suppress the, the 5.7 if I wanted and use that, but I like using the Deagle, so... Oh! That's another thing! Nook also, Nook also got frags as well. I'm guessing they're trying to improve her pick rate, so they gave her frags. I don't know if that's gonna help. Um, she's basically got recycled weapons, so you should know what, else, what to put on them already. You can use flashes or claymore. I, I'm actually, like I said, I'm trying to use flashes more. I just haven't played her recently on this account. I have three separate accounts that I play on, so. And you, if you remember what I said earlier, you could, you actually should pull out her secondary to run if you need to run to like objective or get inside the building. Use it, make sure you take out your secondary because her her CSRX slows you down by 20% if you're carrying it while running. For her secondary, it's preferential, but I like to, I'm actually very good with C75 Auto, so I use that. I think that's... I, know, I, forgot, I forgot which pistol that is. I believe that's... No, that's not the Japanese one, is it? I can't remember which pistol she has, but I use breaches for her. Because I found them helpful on maps like Favala when I play her. It's handy to open up lines of sight for her, so breaches really help. Claymore isn't really that important. I actually use the G36C on Ayana because I actually really like the G36C since I've used it on Ash before and I was like, yeah, this is a good gun. So we're going to stick with this for Ayana. She's got smokes and frags. And your pick, honestly. I'm just using frags because I don't feel like smokes are very helpful for a kit too much. I use her mostly for intel. Uh, okay. Yeah, for smoke, I have the flash on the FMG. And then, again, flash for the SM SMG-11. For the MP5K, I have the compensator. <coughs> Pardon me. Flash for the SMG-11, sorry. Um, UMP-45, I believe. Yeah, compensator as well. Um... And also another change to the game recently is Castle got the super shorty. <laughs> I mean, it's not a bad change. They took away the M45. It's actually really helpful. So if you're making like rotations with your impacts, if you want to make it like a little higher on the top, you can damage it with the... Hang on. You can use the shotgun to like damage the wall and and make it easier to go through your rotation. Pulse is basically the same as Castle, except he's got the M45 instead of the Super Shorty. For Doc, I use the Flash on the MP5. For the P90, the really the recoil doesn't. It's not that bad, to be honest. You can use muzzle if you want, but I just have extended just because of the recoil pattern, as you can see there. The bullets don't spread apart too much, so it's actually not too bad with the extended barrel if you want to use the MP the P90. And then, of course, I got the, P the P9 pistol on him. And I use... <laughs> oh, actually, I'm... I, uh... You can use bar bar shield with smoke. I would just use uh, shield because I like to use shield if I can get it. It's good for blocking doors. Of course, I use nitro on mute. I don't use bulletproof cams for anybody who has it. I'd rather have the explosives or barb if they have it. Because barb is really good at slowing down the attackers if they're trying to rush the room. Pulse, of course, obviously you would have the nitro cell because if you can do like below plays with him if you detect somebody from above like above you if there's like a tiled or wooden floor or ceiling basically above you you can kill them from below with the nitro cell which i've done so there's that for doc i have barbed wire on him 
for what rook I actually use the impacts because hey, it's nice to have I mean for rotations uh, for, you can use barb if you want though and he's got the same loadout as doc so obviously <laughs> uh, the 9x19 I've got the compensator and I use the red dot on it I prefer the red dot of all the Russian sites so I use that and then I, you can have either Nitra or Impact, it's your preference. I just use Impact. Uh, same loadup pretty much for Tachanka. Tachanka is getting a rework. I believe it is coming Season 3 based on the uh, information from the Discord server. I'm not 100% sure. It could be Season 4, I'm not sure. It's just This is just my guess. They haven't announced anything yet for sure though. And of course I use Shield for him. If you haven't seen the video already, he's gonna get a secondary uh, gadget. He's getting an incendiary grenade launcher. And then his turret is becoming a primary weapon. So he'll have three primaries instead of two. So you can use his turret, like carry it around as a weapon, which is gonna be pretty cool. Um, I use the compensator on the 416 carbine. And a, a couple of patches ago, he, he lost his shield for a uh, bulletproof cam. A little annoyed by that, but because people were. Uh, I used Nitro on Bandit. I used the Compensator, but you can use Muzzle if you prefer, if you're having trouble with the recoil. It's a lot lesser, but I prefer the Compensator for the MP7. Uh, for Frost, I was actually. Men I mentioned this earlier. She got her holographic recently. They added a holographic for her. She's got the new style holographic, so she now has that option, which is nice. And then a couple of patches go, she lost her barb for a shield, which doesn't make sense to me. I don't. Why not take the bulletproof cam and give her that? Give her the shield instead of the bulletproof cam. I liked having her barb for her elite skin. It, it made more sense. For the MP MPX, I use the Compensator and again, Muzzle Break on the Deagle because the Suppressor makes it a lot harder to control the recoil. I use Nitro Cell on her because I tend to roam with her, so Nitro's handy. For Kavera, I've actually got the Suppressor on her M12 to make it her... Because she's a stealthy operator, I, pref I feel like a Suppressor is useful for her. Um, you can use a Shotgun as well for its utility, but... The only problem is you can't you can't suppress it, so that's why I started using the M12 to make her more stealthy and sneaky to get around. And I like to have the M12 for the longer range. I use the piston for the closer ranges, unless I'm downing someone from, with, from a distance with it, of course. And then I use her for her impacts for her utility for opening hatches and making rotations and whatnot. <laughs> And I said before bearing nine, I use the flash hider, I use shield obviously with echo, so get somewhere to hide. Mira, uh, my friend actually said he has trouble controlling her recoil, so you can try muzzle with her for lower recoil. But I like the extended barrel on her. I don't have too much control or too much trouble with controlling her recoil. So if you if you're having trouble with it, try the muzzle. But I like the extended barrel on it. Because I'm penetrating the wall, I want that extra distance and damage. Because the way I play her, if you watch my video, that's gonna come, that's right. And <laughs> I'm releasing right after this one. You'll see, but it, I've explained a few spots, like how you use Mira, and a few spots you can set up Miras with her. And I use her secondary shotgun, obviously, for the utility. And then I use Nitro Cell, which again I'll explain it in my next video that I'm gonna release. Um. T5, I use the Compensator, and Impacts, of course, for utility. Okay, well, the Evo, it got a buff, and then it got a nerf, so... The best thing you can probably use if you're having trouble controlling the vertical recoil is the muzzle brake. But, the horizontal recoil is, as you can see, it's kind of wide, so I'm using the Compensator to help control the horizontal recoil. The flash is like a mix of in between. The, the vertical is not too bad. It's not too strong. Uh, it's about. It's yeah. The the horizontal is a little less, but the vertical is a little higher. So that's preference for you. Whether you, which one you want to use, I use the compensator personally. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, for Vigil, I actually use the Suppressors because he's another uh, roamer that's supposed to be stealthy and sneaky, so I use Suppressors on him. As you can see, the recoil is not even that bad with the Suppressor, but if you don't want to use the Suppressor, you can use the Compensator. And I've also suppressed the C75 Auto for the stealthiness, of course, which you don't need to do. If you want to try, you can try to use SMG-12. It has a built-in suppressor, so it's quiet already. But even then, it still has less damage than the C-75 auto suppressed, so there's no point really, unless you want that firing rate. Uh, for the Alda, recently I got a nerf, I guess you could say. They took away Ma uh, Maestro's ACOG, so yeah. I use the compensator, but if you're having trouble controlling the recoil, you can use the muzzle brake on the Alda. And I use the bailiff for him for utility to help make like impact or rotations easier to use. And a couple patches uh, patches ago, like quite a while ago actually, he got impacts over his shield. Instead of his shield, he, like they traded him. The compensator for the MX4 Storm. And I actually used the Keratos for her. Used to use the Bale for its utility, her breaking hatches and whatnot. But I can still I can use impacts for that. And the Keratos is a really really good handgun. That's why I started using it. And <laughs> Clash is back again after getting disabled. I, I three, four, five times. I don't remember how, but it's quite a bit. It's starting to get up there. It's getting ridiculous with her. They need to find a solution. They can't keep disabling her. Um, I think she only has two options. The flash and the suppressor. I use the flash on her. I prefer the SPS SPS MG9. Mostly I'll play support with her, but I'm able to use the SMG without too much trouble. Uh, for the AUG A3, I use the compensator. The TCS G12, I have a suppressor on as well. It does lower, it hurt the damage a little bit, but I just find it a little better because I think it's so loud, honestly. It makes it kind of annoying. I can't hear what's going on around because I think it's so freaking loud. It does hurt the recoil, sadly. I think. Does it? Actually, it doesn't even affect the recoil, but it does hurt the damage by quite a bit. It's like 13 damage less, but it, I just find it better with the suppressor. And I used Nitro on him, which I think that's another thing they changed. He had impacts for a while, and then they gave him a Nitro instead. I don't know why, but that's fine. Compensator for the Commando 9. Compensator for the P10 Roni. I prefer the Commando 9 because if it's Mac Daddy Reload. And it's just a better... I like the magazine better too. Unless you're super, super accurate with the P10 Roni, you're probably better off with the Commando 9. Because you're going to have to reload a lot if you miss. And I use his shotgun for utility if I feel like roaming. I have Nitro on him, of course, for roaming purposes. Warden was a 3 armor on release, but he got buffed to a 2 armor, 2 speed, so. And he's, got the same, he's got the same guns, pretty much. Compensator on the MPX. I remember I said don't use the SMG-12 because it's poop. Um, I use the P10C. I like the red dot, actually, on this gun, too, so. And he also got a Nitro Cell recently as well to try and buff his pick rate a little bit. So there's that. Goyo, I use the Vector with the, again, the Extended Barrel. And then of course the TGS-212 is suppressed. You can use either Impacts or Nitro, I just prefer Impacts for him. Uh, for Wamai, he has the MP5K and the AUG. I use, of course, the Compensator on the AUG as well as the MP5K, but I prefer the AUG for him just to help better compete with the attackers. And then the Keratos and the shield. You can use Barb if you prefer. Oh, pardon me. <laughs> um, Oryx has the Spas 12 and the MP5. I use the Flash and the MP5, obviously. Um, the Bailiff is... I, I like the combination of the Bailiff and the MP5 for roaming. But you can do Spas 12 and USP 40. I just... <laughs> Oh, pardon me. I've never really used the USB 40, sorry. <laughs> but 
I'm sure it's a good pistol. I've just never personally really used it because it's on the Spanish operators, which I do always use the secondary shotgun with them. So I just don't really, I can't really say if it's a very good pistol or not since I've never personally used it that much. I think I used it like once with Oryx and I was like, nah, I'm going back to the MP5 and the Bailiff. I just prefer it. I use barb on him. You can use bulletproof if you like. It's up to you. Um... As I was saying before, um, I'll actually show you the new menu. The menu got changed. So this is a new layout for the menu. Uh, the training grounds, this is your terrorist hunt here. And it's a very good way to practice and test out your guns if you're unsure about an attachment. A good idea is to go into terrorist hunt. You do, you can do elimination, doesn't matter what you do really. Obviously for defenders you'd have to do like protect the hostage, but it's a good way to test out your guns and practice. Practice with your like, recoil control, figure out the best way to use the guns, you know, and all that. That way you can figure out what attachment you like best on them. And which site you like best on them, so. That's how I figured out what the best one was for me. Um, if you're new to the game, you can do the situations. They give a fair amount of renown just for completing all of the objectives, so that'll help you unlock your pathfinders. And there's also the tutorial video videos. If you watch each of these, see they're not that long. They're like a minute and a half each, not even. If you watch these, you'll get 200 renown from each of these videos by watching all of them once. So that'll help you buy a Pathfinder as well. Um, uh, and that's pretty much it. That's I hope I've been helpful you to you today. That you know, like to help you get better at the game and just try to have fun.